This is your daily space vidcast for June 23rd, Ot 8. My name is Benjamin Higginbotham. I'm one of the hosts of Space Vidcast, and I wanted to give you a quick tour of what's new and why we were offline all last week. Let's get started. Right over here, this is some of the existing equipment. These are our satellite receivers. This is, these are the Traxxas 3500 series, the DBS 3500. This one is hooked up to a 12-inch fix, fixed dish. All it does is grab NASA TV. Not exactly a hard job. This one is the fun one. This is a motorized dish. That's also hooked up to a sling box. Now the motorized dish actually is on our roof and is a 30 inch dish that can swing from side to side in the sky. This allows us to look for different space related material on any satellite that's on the KU band. So long as we can get it, we'll be able to show it to you. The problem is, how do you switch from one to the other, or when I'm in the office and not at home, how do I find this material? Well, that's where the sling box comes in. This dish is directly hooked up to this sling box, and this allows me to anywhere in the world log into this dish and actually control its movement. I can swing it from left to right, I can find all the different satellites that it's located on, and I can actually tell it I want to show this particular media now. But that brings up problem number two. I'm at the office. I tell the dish to swing over to, say, 93 West, and I find this great program, maybe an ESA launch going on. Now, how do I actually switch that on the air? We've actually got a IR-controlled switching box right down here. What this does is this is also switched to the sling box. This allows me to switch from this dish to this dish using infrared control, and the sling box can send IR commands to both dishes. So right from my office, I can actually say, all right, I want you to go to this dish, or I want you to use this dish, I want you to swing here. Basically, I can fully control our entire studio anywhere I have an internet connection. I could be in China, it doesn't matter. So long as I've got an active internet connection, I can log into my sling box anywhere in the world, control the dish, and actually switch from source A to source B. I think that's really, really cool. But then, you know, we've got the live shows. So we've actually got a Canopus ADVC 110 sitting right over here. This is what converts the analog signals into digital. That's, uh, this is just a little Netgear uh, router that routes uh, the internet. And all of that plugs into this 20-inch uh, iMac right over here. And I'm using, using a copy of CamTwist Studio to run the entire show. And then, of course, we've got the Ustream broadcaster. So all of my sources running over here. And that, this is what allows me to do all of the different graphics, like the little Space Vidcast logo, the ticker at the bottom, the IRC chat room, and the stuff at the top. It's all run using this iMac and CamTwist. This is all pretty much existing stuff. I also, you know, for those wondering, I've got like little hard drives like this. So when we have an STS mission, STS-124, we record 24-7 and throw those recordings on here. So we've got high-res recordings of the entire mission from start to finish all on this little hard drive. But what's new? I mean, why were we offline for a week? Well, what's new is our entire new set right over here. We've got new stands, new desk, new chairs. Actually, the background has been changed and modified. But mostly what you're going to see is we've got an uh, old, new HDTV. This is actually our old 720p micro projection set. And this is what's been holding us back a little bit. We want to get this going because with the new V-shape in the desks, there's a much larger gap between Carrie Ann and myself. And that requires something in the middle to fill that gap. We could have used a logo, we could use whatever, but I like the flexibility of throwing an HDTV back here. And I had a bunch of people saying you should throw an HDTV back there. PSB Satellite, the guy who gave us our satellite system, he said that. Carrie Ann's been kind of saying that'd be kind of cool. Fox has said, you know, you should do the HDTV. And I've been fighting it because I think the HDTV in the background is kind of one of those we couldn't find anything else to do, so we'll throw an HDTV back there. Well, frankly, we couldn't find anything else to do, so we threw an HDTV back here, and that's exactly what we've got. The problem is, this is micro projection, and sitting right down here is where the bulb is supposed to go. This is a, actually a lamp, and it blew out about a year ago, and I got flustered with it because we went through about three lamps in like six months, and I'm like, S forget this, it's cheaper for us just to get a new screen, so we've got a main plasma sitting over there. We haven't received the new lamp to actually drive this set yet, which is why we haven't been back online. Now, part of it's been, you know, re retrofitting everything and making all the cables run nice and neat, getting the brand new chairs. Carrie Ann loves these chairs. She picked these out. So we've got matching chairs, matching desks, matching everything. And I think the, <laughs> she really loves the chairs. I think it's really going to show uh, and we're going to really bring the quality of the production up a notch when we come back this coming Thursday. And I, I'm excited to actually show off what we're going to be able to do, and we're going to get some cool stuff going behind there. We're scheduled to get the lamp this Tuesday. So the next video you're going to see tomorrow is actually going to cover what we did with our satellites and how all of that works. But this video, 
you know, we've got our Macintoshes sitting over here. I've removed the red sticker. We're going to have new Space Vidcast stickers that go on the back here. We've got the existing audio board, the new boom stands. I mean, this is going to be really, really cool. The next stage is for us to move to an entire HD workflow. The camera we're working on right now is a high def camera. Unfortunately, CamTwist doesn't support HD, and there are a couple other pieces of equipment that don't do HD. But that's my goal. My goal is to make this show HD from the broadcast to the on-demand file to everything. So that's stage two. This was stage one, get it ready for HD. Now the next stage is to make it go. Stick with us tomorrow, we're gonna to show you the satellite system, and then the day after that, we'll be back with our regular space news.